today on Be Something Wonderful. Belief is the creative act of God. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. An amazing day yesterday, really busy from the beginning to the end. And one of the sessions that I had was, was a guy that I had talked with about a week and a half ago. And, and during our initial session, he was saying, Tom, I just believe I have a lot of bogus or limiting beliefs. And, and I, I think this is what's holding me up. I, I, and, and I, I just want to um, uh, have some guidance on, on how to move past them so I can really manifest everything I want. I mean, he goes, I'm a conscious creator. I've been manifesting some things, but I just think there's some beliefs that are holding me back. And as we talked about this, and, and as I, I talked with him more, it really wasn't about beliefs, what he was believing in that was holding him back. Hear this. It was his disbelief, right? It was from him not really believing in his inner authority, not really believing that the desires are his. That's what really we uncovered. It wasn't so much what he was believing in. It was, it was what he was not believing in. It was the idea that he needs to suspend disbelief, right? Because remember, that power in God just believes. It's all belief. It's all the belief in the pure positive energy. It's all the belief that all possibilities exist. Hear this. And that when you disbelieve in things, you're locking in your current reality as the only thing you believe. It's your lack of, dis it's your lack of belief in other possibilities that's holding you back. So we had talked and I said, well, let's play a game. And like, like Alice in Wonderland, like Alice says to the, to, to the queen, it's, a, uh, it's impossible or it's impossible to believe. Uh, I can't believe in impossible things. And the queen says, well, you just haven't had enough practice. I, I, at your age, I used to believe in six impossible things before breakfast. So that's what I've called now the six impossible things game. And I said, I just want you to think of six impossible things. And, and he was coming up with some pretty, like one was a million dollars, you know, he'll get a million dollars. I go, okay, that's okay. But how do you feel about that? He goes, all right, well, there's a lot of resistance. I go, well, then let's start, you know, start with something else. He goes, okay, $1,000, I'll get $1,000. And then, and then he had some other ones like, um, uh, he goes, I'll see, a, I'll see a white horse. All sorts of crazy things, white horse, a thousand bucks, whatever it was, six impossible things. So, so we had a session yesterday, he goes, oh my God. <laughs> he, he said he, he, they, that him and his wife just bought uh, a new car and that the dealer called after they got home and said they forgot to include a thousand dollar rebate. So there's the thousand, right? And then his daughter, uh, I think he, that he was calling his daughter and went in and said, hey, what are you doing? And she goes, I'm just watching a video. And she was watching a Taylor Swift video about horses. I think it's called horses or wild horses or, or white horse. Actually, that's it. So, so and, and, I, and he said, in the video was a horse. He goes, I think it was white. Pretty sure it was white. He goes, the name of the video was white horse. And so, so this is what we're talking about, guys. This is the power, right? And, and then we'll have to see what happens with his other four. But the whole idea about this exercise. And, and we know by now, all of you guys know, this is not impossible stuff. We're creators. We were made in God's image. We are, we, that's, we came to create. Our desires is that divine desire for, for us to take some form, to manifest. Remember, when God moved, God moved upon him, himself. It's that power moving upon itself. That's what you do when you go into imagination. You're moving upon yourself to create, to be something more, to be something different, and then you perceive it, right? You're creating it out of you, just like God created us out of God. That's what we're talking about here. So here, I wanna cover some of the points that we talked about and really unpack this idea. So remember, Ernest Holmes says, God is always God. So this is really the conversation that I was getting in with him, this guy and a lot of clients, that no matter what you believe, that power is within you. Whether you believe it or not, you've just got to decide, you've got to just decide to suspend disbelief and know that all realities exist within you. All that is, always is. That's what Ernest Holmes is saying. In the beginning, God. 
That's it. That's all you need to know. What more do you need to know? Everything was made from that one substance, right? From that one spirit, that one God. Right, that one power, that one energy, everything comes and goes with that. We're, we're made by him, came into being. All things were made by him, by God that came into being. Through him and apart from him, nothing came into being that has come into being. That's from John 1, 3. All things came into being or were made by him, through him. And apart from him, nothing came into being or nothing was made that was made that has come into being. It was all from that. That's the idea, right? So you, that's, what, that's why we're called the Son of God, right? Because we are made from that one substance. We're all sons of God, right? Come from and have your being in this one consciousness, this infinite intelligence. You, the Son of God, you come from and have your being. We live and have our being and exist in Him in this one consciousness, this in, in this infinite intelligence. This is some of the things that we have been talking about. All the affirming, I am strong, or I am rich, or I am wealthy, or denying I'm unworthy, or I'm poor, or I'm struggling, will never change that, that God or infinity. It can never change you or that who you are. You can never be more or less than who you really are. It will never change that you can never be more or less than God. You are God. You can't be less than that. You can't be more than that. So all the affirming and denying can only make you more or less. You're not, you are God, right? You are an aspect of God. You were made in God's image. So all of that, it, it, it can, again, affirming can be very powerful. Denying, right? Or, 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 the, or, or saying that's not what I choose can be very powerful. But I'm saying either whether you do it or not, you are it. It is known and revealed to you as you have believed. Belief. This is what Jesus said. This is what all the ancients said. It's as you have believed. How much are you believing or how much, in other words, what are you disbelieving? Because all possibilities exist. You can only disbelieve, right? Because belief is who you are. Belief is the creative act recognizing that this power that creates worlds or source works through you and is you. That's what we're talking about. That's the belief that matters, that this power, this source, is revealed to you as you have believed. As you believe, right? Belief is the creative act. Disbelief is, it keeps you from seeing it, keeps you from perceiving it keeps you trapped in a reality maybe that you don't want or something unwanted. That's why the desire is there, right? So it's a bit, remember, God's always, remember that creative substance that is God always has a divine urge to, 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 to manifest and to form. That's what, it, that's what you, who you are, but it's not to, it, it, it's based on the belief that you can and, you, and when you assume it, you are it, right? It's that absolute belief. And, 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 and faith in who you are, right? So let's hit this a little bit more. And remember the healing of the uh, centurion's servant. When Jesus said, go, it shall be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed in, in that very moment. In that very moment, hear this. There was no, it was already done. That, that reality already existed. Do you see it? All possibilities exist, as well as the possibility of the healthy servant. That's what it's talking about. That's what we talk about when we're talking about shifting realities. That was a quantum leap to a new reality. It shall be done to you as you have believed. As the centurion believed it, it was done, right? As you believe. Nothing is imposed on you from the outside. It's as you recognize the truth of your being, your I am within, you are set free. As you believe, as you recognize your I amness, the truth of who you are, you are set free. If you continue in my word, this is what Jesus says, or in other words, in I am, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's the truth. The truth of your I amness. Remember, the word is the creative power. It's the, it's, it's the idea that, you, that, that what you declare within, right? It can be a spoken word, of course, but it's about, it's about moving within. As, Jesus, as God moves with on, on the waters, God moves on itself, that you move within, you're moving on yourself, you're creating it within that power that you already are, 
right? It's not outside of you and, and deciding what you want to be, right? That's the truth that will set you free. It's that I am. It's the power to clear yourself into form or into manifestation. That's what you're doing, right? Remember, you are that power. So whatever you're perceiving, you're declaring the perception. You're declaring yourself to take that form. You're taking that form as I am. That's so powerful, right? So God, consciousness is pure positive energy, or in other words, divine love. This conscious intelligence is always conscious of itself, conscious of itself, and moving upon itself to create. It's conscious. It has to be conscious of something. What is, it, what is that intelligence conscious of? Of itself, right? Nothing exists outside of it. Consciousness is everything, including us, the 3D world, and everything else. We're not apart from it. So it can only be conscious of itself, moving upon itself to create. That's its nature is to create, and it creates, it takes form according to divine law, right? According to the law. So remember, it's not that that greater subconscious or that creative medium, that's the law. It's not that it rejects anything, it accepts everything. It's just that what are you, what are you believing? Or in other words, what are you disbelieving, right? So God is love plus law, right? Whatever it announces, I am, it becomes. God announces it and becomes it. That's what we're talking about here. That's the power. God speaks and it is done. In other words, when we say God speaks, we're talking about within, moving upon itself, that power, right? Like the centurion, as much as you can believe, it will be done for you. As much as you can believe it, or in other words, suspend disbelief, because all realities exist. All possibilities exist whether you believe it or not, right? So it's, it's when you suspend disbelief, allow all possibilities exist, and then choose. Choose what reality you want to believe in. Wow, that's powerful. So... The key is to be willing to believe. Even when, this is really, I, I've, I've hit this theme now for a few weeks. I've hit it off and on in a few videos. And this is what I was telling him. Just be willing to believe, like the six impossible things before breakfast, right? The six impossible things game. I am that I am. That's the name of God. You are that, that I am, that I am, that I am, that I am of God, that creative power. That's the I am that I am right? There is only I am. Whatever you are willing to believe or identify with yourself with, you become or manifest. There's only I am. And we're part of that I am, right? We have an individualized aspect of it, but we are part of that. So whatever you're willing to believe, willingness to believe and identify with, you become a manifest. You become or manifest, right? Disbelief and doubt makes no sense. That only moves you from that willingness to believe. Do you hear this, right? Just be willing to believe in this truth of who you really are, the I am, will reveal itself to you. There is one good or God and unity. The perception of duality and of the unwanted is because of disbelief. Hear this. We get so caught up in the unwanted realities or the things that we don't want to see. But uh, there is only unity. There's only good. There's only God. There's only infinite, re all infinite realities existing right now. But it's that perception of duality of the unwanted is because of disbelief. It's because the only reason is because we're disbelieving in other possibilities, that we get stuck on seeing something that we perceive is not good or not God. Do you hear this? This is so big today. So there's no law of disbelief. There's only a law of belief. That's the law of God. That's the law of life. Right? That's love. With people, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Very clear here. All possibilities exist. But you can't get there from the 3D rational mind. You've got to get there by rising up in that I am consciousness, that awareness of who you really are. All things are possible to him who believes. It's clear here throughout Scripture. Mark 9, 23. Consciousness, God, energy of infinite possibilities. It's all there. It's love. It's divine love is the belief that all, possibil that all is possible. It's the belief in all possibilities. That's what divine love is. That's what the energy of infinite possibilities is. That's what God is. Right? Nothing, nothing exists apart from your belief in it for you to perceive it. Nothing exists. It's only your disbelief. It all exists. It's all there. 
right? Apart from your belief in it, it all meaning nothing exists for you apart from your belief in it. So as you hold on to disbelief, it can't exist for you. It's there because all possibilities exist. It's your holding on to disbelief that keeps you from seeing it, right? Wow, big. So stop trying to believe and stop trying not to believe. All of that is just keeping you in disbelief. Do you hear this? It's you're trying and struggling to believe or you're trying and struggling not to believe something, right? That, that, that is keeping you in disbelief. Instead, suspend disbelief and allow yourself to believe the impossible. Allow yourself to believe the unbelievable. Believing is allowing. Believing is receiving infinite impossibilities to exist. It's about receiving all of God, not part of God, right? When you disbelieve, you collapse the wave of infinite possibilities. You narrow your perception and awareness of infinity or all that is and identify with and only believe and perceive your current 3D conditions. Keeps you locked into those conditions. Do you see that? That's big, right? That's big. So let's continue here. There's no use trying. One can't believe impossible things. That's what Alice said, right? And then what does the queen say? I dare say you haven't had much practice. I've believed as many as the six impossible things before breakfast. Try it. Try the six impossible things. You can't be aware of the field of infinite possibilities while trapped in disbelief, right? It's not so much your beliefs or what you believe in that's the problem. It's your disbelief that, you, that what you really want is, is possible. It's your disbelief that it's possible. Do you hear it? It's not really what you believe. It's not these limiting beliefs that are the problem. It's your disbelief. All beliefs are possible. All prob probabilities are possible, right? It's you struggling with, with belief. So the six impossible things game opens your awareness to all possibilities here and now. I think I might have touched on something like this in other videos. You're always crossing over in between parallel realities in all time, all the time and in all time. These, parallel, these realities are parallel and simultaneous. So they're happening right now. They're not even necessarily parallel. Right? You're always standing at the, the, the center of all possibilities. That's why you've experienced sometimes deja vu. Right? It comes from that feeling that you've already been there or experienced it because you are there and you are experiencing it. Do you hear this? You're always shifting among realities. It's your disbelief that keeps you from remembering it or seeing it or believing it. Wow, that's big. It's not about manifesting or creating necessarily, as I've talked about before, but rather dissolving the barriers and obstacles of disbelief. Do you hear this? Right? It's, about, it's not really about manifest or creating anything, but rather dissolving the barriers and obstacles of disbelief to see more of what's already there. That's what we're talking about. Belief is the creative act of God. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. You can follow us on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful. We have a group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. It's an open group where you can share your insights and guidance with others or ask for insight and guidance and also stories and everything. It's a great group, great cre conscious creating group. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen. Our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com where all that information is and more. Until next time, creators, with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, this is Tom. See you soon.